Hi everyone and welcome back or welcome if you are new around here. My name is May, also known as Mrs. Deva, and this is our official first Q&A, hopefully ongoing sort of series. What is that up there? Oh, it's the sock. Okay, quick interruption. That right there is the end of my stocking stuffer that I did put up as a decoration. Hopefully it's not too distracting. I'll try to cover it with my head, but I was so confused and trying to figure out what it was. Anyways, as I was saying, one of my favorite types of video to watch from one of my favorite content creators here on YouTube, and that is Mini or Minx for All, was her MMQA videos. I would look forward to Monday mornings being able to drive to work and just listen to her answer questions that we all had in mind. So when I started my YouTube channel, I always had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do these types of videos too because I enjoyed watching them so much that I thought it would be fun to do sort of my own take on the questions that you guys have. So I did ask you over on Instagram if that would be something that you guys would be interested in watching and you all gave me really good feedback. I also reached out to Minnie and sort of told her, you know, how much I enjoyed those videos that she did and if it was sort of okay for me to kind of start my own series as well. And of course, she was super, super supportive about it. So I do need you guys' help because I have not yet come up with a name for this series. I plan on maybe putting out one or two of these kinds of videos a month. So I was thinking maybe like fashion fix Fridays, but then again, it's not just about fashion. I want you guys to feel comfortable to ask me anything, whether it's YouTube related, whether it is handbags, anything that I might share as fashion related or style. I love traveling. You guys know that I love putting vlogs out here whenever we do our trips. So anything travel related, just anything that I can go ahead and kind of do a video, sit down and chat with you guys about. Also, the way that I kind of want to go about it is address the questions that you guys leave in like this particular video that I release so I'm releasing the first one go ahead and leave me any other questions that you guys might want me to answer and then I'll go ahead and do the next video and so on and so forth hopefully that makes sense so without further ado let's go ahead and get started I did get a few questions which I'm super excited to answer I have them all here on my phone so we do have talking about travel what are some of your travel essentials all right, so for me personally, I have mentioned it in some of my travel videos before, but I do travel with a carry-on and a personal item. So an essential for me is a really good personal item that will allow me to pack a little bit more than just a regular handbag. So when I go abroad, for the most part, I do like to do a little bit of luxury shopping just because coming from the States, we do get a good deal. I have a full VAT refunds sort of series. Also, there's two videos in regards to that. I'll leave that link down below for you guys. So I definitely wanna have a little bit more space in that personal item since for the most part, I just pack my carry-on and not worry about it and then leave that space available there. So my key ball is definitely an essential for me. So far, it has been the piece where I have noticed that I can get the most amount of space. I did share that I added the Negeti St. Bart's tote in the large size also to be used as a personal item. So we do have a trip coming on later on in December. And I do plan on taking that one as my personal item in order to really use and be able to give you guys a more thorough review on it. So that is definitely an essential. And aside from that, a good pair of sneakers. I have been on the hunt for a good pair of sneakers. I've tried on a few throughout the previous travels that we have done, and I've come to realize that Albert's by far has been the most comfortable. I do have to say I added a pair of Nike sneakers this year that were really, really comfortable. They didn't need a break-in period, which I was surprised for a leather sneaker. The Albert's are not leather. They are made of like a sort of wool material. So they have options to keep your feet warm and then they have options that are just regular. By far comfort level, like right from the start, all birds for sure. And then the Nike ones have also been really well. So a good pair of walking sneakers that look nice because yes, we have all these like bulky sort of sneakers, which are not my personal preference for my style. So I don't like to lean towards those. And then I feel like a sleek white pair of sneakers is kind of hard to come across. 
So, so far I have these two and I'm really loving them. All right, moving on, we have how do you feel about bag charms? And this person also asked favorite SOG combo from your collection, wallet and catch all. So bag charms, I love them. I think they're super fun. I just feel like they sort of give you a way to express your personality through your bag. And then my current favorite SOG combo would have to be my mini pochette in the limited edition from 2019 and my Kelly, my Hermes Kelly pocket compact wallet. So these two have definitely been a pair made in heaven for me. I am loving this piece. I think it's so much fun. It's the perfect style of wallet for me. And my mini pochette, I have to say, I've probably switched out of this maybe five times since I've had it. I like that it has the versatility that I can quickly grab it and use it as a wristlet or as a little crossbody if I add a chain to it. And my Hermes Kelly Pocket Compact has just been a dream. Now getting into another set of three questions and that is how often do you change your bags and any updates on the Celine Nano luggage? Okay, let's address the how often I change my bags. So I do work from home. I don't switch out my bags as often as I did when I needed to go into the office. So during the week, for the most part, I'm either using a Longchamp or my Negeti tote bags. I have mentioned that those are kind of like my go-to whenever I have to run an errand or if I'm going to the gym. And that's more or less the outings that I have during the week. So for that reason, during the weekend, whenever we are going somewhere, depending on the occasion, I try to switch out as much as possible. Like if we're going out on Saturday and I'm running errands, I'll probably grab a bag. If we're going out to dinner that same Saturday night, I'll switch out to another bag. And then I'll try to add another bag for anything that we're doing Sundays. So I would probably say a total of maybe three times a week. I think that's a fair number to say. And then any updates, I will be bringing her in for some eye candy on my Celine Nano luggage. And I love her. She is so, so good. I do have to point out that Every time that I'm going to grab her, in a way, in the back of my mind, I'm like, shoot, I should have gone for the gold hardware one. I'm typically not super picky about hardware, but I don't know why I feel like this piece in the gold hardware would have been a little bit more fun and even a little bit more elegant to sort of dress up. I do think that the grains, leather, and the... It's not silvered, it's more like, I would say like aged silver, if you can call it that. It's a little bit more casual. And I've also considered adding one of their Celine guitar straps to this bag due to the fact that it is more casual, but all of those do come in the gold hardware. I'm not sure how I would like to be mixing metals so, so closely to one another. I'm thinking about potentially going into the boutique and trying that out and see how I like it. Celine's leather is at least the grained pebbled leather, which is the one that I have my nano and my micro in right there, is one of the top of the line leathers that I have in all of my handbags. It is so durable. I don't have any scratches. I don't have any wear. And like I said, this is one of those bags that I just feel so comfortable grabbing, throwing it on crossbody or even using it top handle. I never got the strap altered as I said I would. I just don't know. I want to have the option of having it a little bit longer in case I were to use it with like a long coat or something. So I just did this knot to it like I shared with you guys in that video and I've kept it like so. She is definitely a keeper in my collection and I don't think I will be getting rid of this one. Next question is, would you ever consider getting a colorful bag from Teddy Blake? I was actually reached out by Teddy Blake in order to work on a collaboration and I was super excited. I have seen some of their handbags on other Instagram posts and other people which create content. So I was really thrilled about the fact that they were interested in working together so that I can share with you guys kind of like the material and sort of what I thought about the bags. They are a pretty well-priced bag in my opinion, however, as you probably know, because that video never went live, unfortunately, when I received the bag that I asked for, the quality, you guys, was just not there for me. 
there were a few things that were just off and I did not feel comfortable whatsoever sharing that type of quality and that type of product with you guys in a video. So unfortunately, I had to reach back out to them and tell them, you know what, I'm sorry, but I can't share with my audience this type of product. Like it just doesn't stand with what I believe and the things that I like to share with my viewers in order to give them an option for a good quality bag at a lower price point. And they were just like, okay, that's totally fine. Just send the bag back to us. And that was that. So unfortunately, I will not be adding any pieces from them into my collection. You know, once you have kind of like a bad experience with something, it sort of leaves like a bad taste in your mouth. And maybe I just got one bad one from a batch, but the way that they were not even able to just be like, look, I'm sorry, let me go ahead and send you another product so that you can see it. I did mention to them, I wanna be able to use the bag for a couple of weeks before I talked about it and that was agreed upon. So that was my idea behind it. But then when I sent it back to them, they never reached back, you know, to be able to send me another product. If they stood behind their quality, I felt like that would have been the route to go, but I don't wanna bad mouth or bad shame anyone. So there's that on Teddy Blake. I definitely don't consider adding any pieces from them. But yeah, I think that's that for that question. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying not to ramble because I can really just get going when, you know, I find like a passionate subject. So let's move on because this video could probably end up being like five hours long. All right, I got what other state or country would you consider living in, in other, oh, would you consider living in other than Florida? So I love this question just because my husband and I talk about this all the time. We always say that if we, you know, or when we get older and we're able to retire or we just want to take off and kind of live abroad or something, it's definitely going to be Italy. Italy is definitely, I think, one of our favorite countries, if not our favorite countries. We love the food. We love the people. We love the language. We speak Spanish, so we feel like picking up Italian would be a lot easier than any other language. And there's just so much history, so many beautiful little towns to explore. So I feel like we can live there for the rest of our lives and not get bored. So definitely Italy is the one that we would consider moving to. Um, I have, if you were to keep one handbag from your collection, what would it be? You guys are bad. You guys are horrible. I always, I'm like, why do people ask these questions? I mean, as a handbag addict, how are we supposed to just pick one? But I have an answer for you. And I think a few of you might actually be surprised. I'm going based on, let me share. So it would be my... BD35, the classic style, and this one is in the Damier Ben. So this bag is my first luxury or designer and handbag that I ever added into my collection. My husband gifted it to me when we visited Paris for our one year wedding anniversary. I also got my married initials hot stamped on it. So it is a bag that just has so many memories to her so much sentimental value to it. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you were thinking I was going to pick my Speedy B25 and I thought about it, but to be honest with you, I know that that's a bag that I can go in and purchase now. Don't get me wrong, that bag also has its own little personal sentimental touch to it because it was a birthday gift and I was hunting that bag up and down before I was able to get it. But this one, it has no comparison. Like no other bag, probably aside from my Celine Micro, which was my 30th birthday Holy Grail handbag, has as much memory and sentimental value as this one. All right, moving on. I did get a comment that said, you are wonderful and thank you so much. You guys are seriously the sweetest people. I feel like I have one of the best communities out there in order to talk about all this crazy stuff that we enjoy. Now the next question is a good one and it could definitely be a long one so I'm gonna try to make it as quick as I possibly can and it's do you make any money on Instagram? So Instagram per se does not pay me. I do make money from any links that I put that are affiliate links through the like to know it program. A minuscule <laughs> percentage of a commission once people click those links and if they buy anything through those links. Okay, sorry, I had to change my battery. So yeah, that's pretty much all on that topic. As I said, if you want me to get a little bit more 
deeper into that sort of topic, whether it is how to get monetized here on YouTube or how to get approved for the Like to Know It program, I can share with you guys my experience in regards to that. All right, so we have, whom do you draw most of your fashion inspiration from? Guys, I have to say that I don't have like a go-to person or anything. I just really wear what I like. Um, if you look at my closet, I feel like sometimes I could totally be all over the place. For the most part, I have shifted completely and focused a lot more on neutrals, especially black. My mom is always like, why are you always wearing black? <laughs> And I just personally really love it. For me, having a good black base just allows you to play with everything else. Then having colorful pieces in your collection or in your closet, I feel like it makes it a little bit more difficult to even be able to repeat those outfits and put new pieces together with it. I hope that makes sense. So I love going to Instagram for inspiration. You know, I kind of search what it is that I want to style and then I get picture inspiration from there so let's say you know now cardigans are all the rave and I feel like everybody is wearing some sort of cardigan so when I knew that I wanted to add a cardigan into my wardrobe for this season I went ahead and went to Pinterest and I went to Instagram and I sort of typed in cardigan style or how to style cardigan so on and so forth and I just got sort of like ideas from there you know wearing it open wearing it over your shoulder doing a front tuck you know things like that and then I just go back to my basics that I have in my closet. So I'm still trying to discover my sort of style in a sense. I mean, I don't know if that was supposed to be a compliment, but thank you. <laughs> and I, I pretty much just do that. You know, whatever it is that I'm feeling at the moment, I kind of go with it and try to incorporate my own personal touch. I think I got a little bit sidetracked and over the top with that one but we are reaching i believe this is our last question yes it is so hopefully this video wasn't too too long okay this is another good one the last one is do you put money aside for just luxury items or what's your advice to afford more without breaking the bank I love luxury bags and always want more, so do I, <laughs> but I have to wait, grow my collection super slow. All right, so uh, this is interesting because obviously we all have different priorities and we all spend our money how we like to. Um, for us, our priority after obviously paying our bills and putting aside money for savings is travel. So that is definitely where we put you know, the biggest chunk of our money and then I do have a fund where I put aside part of my paycheck for luxury pieces. So it really just depends where you are as well. I mean, and you guys, I'm trying to make this point across as best as I possibly can. I, I hope that you guys take this in the most positive and best way possible. So I do definitely think that it all depends where you also are monetarily. I'm huge on putting aside money for a rainy day. That is extremely important. I mean, thankfully you can be healthy one day and be working perfectly fine. And the next day it all turns to the complete opposite end of the spectrum. So I do feel like priorities need to be set and then any other kind of like um, disposable income is the word that I was searching for. You can go ahead and put it and use it as you please and to do whatever it is that makes you happy. So at first when, you know, my husband and I thankfully are at another financial point in our lives right now where we do get to have a little bit more disposable income, we also don't have kids. So I do want to point that out because I know that kids are very expensive even if you are at different financial stages in your life. So I know that that takes up a lot of that disposable income, if you want to call it that. So we don't have kids, so we get to put a little bit more money towards the things that we honestly enjoy. And like I said, it really just depends what other finances, what other expenses you have. We also try to keep our fixed monthly bills to the minimum as possible. Like if we get an increase, let's say in our salary, my husband and I have always been the type to, okay, let's not now get a more expensive car or let's not now 
um add a third car to the family let's say because we wanted to or get into another set of fixed bills we more or less take that increase and now we're like okay let's save part of that increase and then the other part let's go ahead and then just do more of the things that we enjoy whether it is more traveling or whether it is going out to nicer restaurants or whether it is adding luxury pieces so i hope i made sense i tried to answer the question and at the same time give you a little bit of feedback as best as i possibly could but yeah if you have any other sort of like finance questions and things like that let me know i wasn't banking before kind of doing this i still do finance as my job now but it's a different sort of like department so i always have like a little bit of my opinion and my thoughts in regards to that stuff so that does it for our first Q&A, you guys. Thank you so, so much for sending me over some really good questions. I know that I can go on and on and on about a specific topic. I also wanna make sure that I make my point across and sometimes I know that my rambling can just get me into other things. So with time, I know that I'll get better and I know that I'll be like more quick to answer the questions that you guys have. So if you have any other questions, whether it is a second part to one of the ones that I already answered or any new questions that you want to ask me, then please go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for spending some time out of your day today today. What? So that is all for today. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye everyone.